galaxy. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. I know you've got a lot on your mind, but that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future you'll use your words instead of your fists. I don't know what's gonna happen next time. I can't promise that. Well, try. For me. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Ugh. Another headache? <sighs> Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. I wish I could help. I know you do. Some things, Peter. They're not yours to control. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I know that's not always easy for you. I'll be a perfect little angel. Like always. Hmm. I better hurry back then. I'll be back soon. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing, anyway? <sighs> oh, she's not doing so well. I'm sorry to hear that, Pete. Well, I'm sure this is gonna make her feel a lot better. Music's got some powerful mojo. Both sides? Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. Hey, Petey! You make that mix for your boyfriend? <laughs> so what if I did? You got some kind of problem with that? I got a problem with you. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> you afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. Pretending you got balls! Hey! How's that lip doing? Give me that. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Don't make me hit you. Oh, you're threatening me now? Go on, take a swing. I won't even feel it. You gonna cry now? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? You done yet? Elephant ears? You must get great reception with those things. Nah, I'm not done. 
But your mom? She sure is. My dad goes drinking with her doctor. Told him everything. Guess she didn't feel like it was important enough to tell you. Oh, check it out! Dead woman walking! What's the point? Drugs ain't gonna help. My dad says you're gonna die anyway. Where'd you get those bruises, huh? Your dad? Or does your mom have a good swing too? I'm gonna go to your funeral just to see your son cry. Get out! My dad's gonna- Out! You didn't bite that jerk. I'm proud of you, Peter. Even though I didn't set a very good example. The things he said. I let my emotions get the better of me. You slapped him? That was awesome. No, that was... not awesome, Peter. He said... You were dying, Mom. Is that... true? Find me, please. You're so close, Peter. <sighs> what the... How did I get home? saw my mom again. She said I'm close. This temple is really messing with my head. <laughs> Hello, Gamora. Ah! Whoa! Hey, Gamora! Come on, what? Nebula. What are you doing? You can do better than that. What the hell is wrong with you, Gamora? You could have killed me! Ah! Come on, this isn't fair! I don't have a sword! Nebula. You need to be aware of everything around you. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over. Every single day. Be patient, Nebula. You'll get your chance soon enough. So now I need patience, too? <laughs> Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. A little impressive. Just a little? I can't. 
can't. Gamora, you're hurting me. <sighs> Great. Nebula. You have grown so much. Father. You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> I do. She's come a long way. What a pleasant surprise. Perhaps being bested by your sister recalled the importance of humility. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula. You will kill the General. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora, you were always my favorite, but you have become cold, distant, forcing me to look to Nebula to tighten the slack. I work better alone. I always have. Nebula doesn't need to be a part of this. From what I witnessed, you could benefit from Nebula's assistance. I can no longer trust you on your own. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care, but if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. <sighs> Is everything alright? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but Father... he didn't look happy. I can't stand this place anymore. I can't stand him anymore. Nebula! Come here! I guess this is it. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. <sighs> Don't worry, Nebula. I've got your back. No. I've got to do this myself. It's what I've been training for. I won't let Father down. Let's just do this. Nebula! 
Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! Father will be so upset with me. You distracted him. I killed him. We did this together. But Father... Thanos can complain about who did what all he wants. I don't care. Father... Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me! Now! I'm not asking here. Do it! Gamora, hand it over! Fine! Here. Hey, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. tried to stab me! So maybe we're even! Perhaps. I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, I was... Yeah, I, uh... I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? My memory? Are you okay? I never wanted to think of that time in my life again. I've really been trying to let Nebula go. But seeing that... She thought I was being selfish. Taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. And why she'll never forgive what I did. She tried to kill you. There is no excuse for that. Look, if anyone deserves to hold a grudge, it's you. That's not how Nebula sees it. That last moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. But there were times we were happy, despite Thanos, despite everything. We had each other. Maybe, maybe I could have done more been more honest with how I was feeling. Stop just seeing her as someone I needed to protect. I know you, Gamora. And I know you tried your absolute best to protect her. Nebula can't see that? Then that's her problem. Not yours. Is it? Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred. That coldness. Her inability to trust anyone. She is Thanos' daughter. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? I failed her. Listen. You are my friend. And I don't make friends with failures, okay? I, uh, don't think that's true. Look, the point is, no matter what you did in the past, I will always stand by you. You're awesome. I'm proud to call you my friend. That is so cheesy. I know, but I think I've made my point. Now come on. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... weird. Oh, man. My mom loved this song. 
She played that record non-stop. Peter, wait. This place... It seems to be using our memories against us. We don't know what we'll find inside. Or why it's been drawing us here. Yeah, well, if anything goes wrong, you'll be here to protect me, right? You're not saying anything, and it's super worrying. Gamora, seriously? Do you recognize this place? Yeah. This is where my mom... Uh, this is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Thanks for, uh, for understanding. She's your family. Your real family. I know how much she means to you. Are you? You have known me for a while now. I am called Mantis. Not your mom, right? Definitely not. You... You came for me. After all these... Ooh, what are these? They are very shiny. Hey, over here. Peter Quill, you're really here. It's been centuries. No, millennia. You were the first. The name's Star Lord, baby. Oh, I see. Star Lord, baby. <laughs> no, no, it's just it's Star Lord, legendary outlaw. Why does this never work? Whoa! Thank you. May I borrow that? Mm. 
You're gone. It will only be for a moment. Uh, yeah, sure. What? I have another one. You. Uh, you're welcome? It is so wonderful to be free of that tomb. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. You are truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave and handsome. Perhaps not in the classical sense. What? Ha! You must have many questions for me. Take your time. Why were you locked in here? So that you could find me. Not very helpful. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the Celestial One. That you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could. Through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I was only trying to communicate. I... Yes! You should be proud of freeing me! I no longer have to stare into the infinite crushing darkness. It was so boring. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh, no. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Watch. Star-Lord Baby is filled with pride over your friendship. It makes his body parts grow. Excuse me? Do it again! Do it again! Come on! With great pleasure! Oh, this isn't going to go well. Oh. Uh, what emotion was that? I do not believe I should say out loud. Sexual. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. <laughs> who should we try on first? I got just the one. has profound love and affection for everyone in this room. I am Groot. Oh, not everyone. Some of you he has mixed feelings about. <clears throat> he is pleased that someone can understand his true feelings. Mantis is an empath, Groot. She can sense your emotions. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho Hala for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? I am Groot. She thinks I'm someone called the Celestial One. How about that? Celestial what? Why is there only one? And could that one also be me? Oh, I can explain. Long ago... Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? 
Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. The answer is magic. It's always magic. And that is good enough for me. Well, I, for one, want to hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. Of course, Star-Lord baby. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, boy, lightly. Boy, 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 boy. So I was brought in to ensure that the forge was only wielded by someone deserving. Oh, I hear you. And to help guide the wielder down the right path. But I waited. And waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. The Kree decided that no culture had matured enough to use the forge yeah, with the wisdom the, the required. Eternity forge. Eventually, the forge and I were separated. Locked away until the time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. And that is only the beginning. Well, thanks a lot for that, Pete. Oh, that's it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I should have skipped all that nonsense. Same old story, every time. Told you, I told you. Then, I suppose the most important part... There is a legend of the Celestial One, the Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One, what are they like? Advanced intellect, emotionally mature, wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires to choose for the greater good. That's... <laughs> that describes me pretty perfectly. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. Hey, knock it off. <laughs> it is not funny. Peter is the Celestial One. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this Celestial What's-It, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on someone else it didn't do a damn thing your loss i can feel it has been with you for some time the forge is limited right now it can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and undeteriorated <sighs> i am growth ah well, that explains Hollis' delightful corpse collection She'll bring them all back if she gets the forge. Fantastic! So it's incredibly useful to our worst enemy, but useless to us. It can be made more useful. How? The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power, or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined, though I do not know why. That seems ill-advised. You can bring back anyone? Like, anyone at all? Anyone who ever existed can be brought back, so long as you have the required energy, of course. One life for one life. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. I am Groot. Right? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean... Maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, hey, you try understanding I am Groot all the time. You mistranslated Groot. On purpose. How long have you been doing this? I just slipped up. <laughs> this was a one-time thing. I am Groot? 
Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. At a cost. Wow. Uh... Okay, this is, uh... <laughs> it's a lot to process here. Kinda heavy on the responsibility, you know? It's... Let me think on it. <laughs> well, one way or another, this all ends at the Shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been. But with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. You have extraordinarily soft hands. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> was there moisturizer built into that tomb thingy? There was not. <laughs> really? Huh. Well, I guess it's because, uh... Please, stop talking. Okay. Yep, not talking. I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. Hey, bud, what's up? Well, if it ain't Captain Indecision. What? Are you... I, I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here, Quill. I mean, I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back... someone they love. I am Groot. And what happens if Hala gets a hold of it, huh? This falls into the wrong hands, the whole galaxy is screwed. The whole galaxy is already screwed. It's always screwed. You think if we destroy this thing, that'll make a difference? Ah, the only ones you're screwing are your so-called friends. Rocket. You know what, Pete? I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Yeah. I am Groot. It should have brought someone else. Anyone else back instead. Lila would be ashamed of you right now. You saw one damn memory of her. You're talking like you knew her? Go to hell, Pete. Only this time, don't come back. I am Groot. You can both go to hell. Well, that's one way to clear his emotional unrest. I am Groot. Calm down. Drax, how are you doing? I was angry that you did not allow me to guard Nebula. But that... <sighs> but now, I am hopeful. The Forge can bring my family back, if you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You used that antenna woman's powers without permission. It was wrong of you to do that. Even if the tree did not mind. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. I just wanted to get to know everyone better. We're all so secretive. We should... we should open up more. Secrets should be shared willingly, not stolen. Whoa. That was, uh... That was really deep, Drax. Her ability 
to see into our emotions. It must be difficult. I would not wish to know the pain of others as well as my own. Thank you for checking in on me, Peter. You may leave now. What was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while... Ugh. She won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. That's just who she is now. You need to accept that. I know. It was stupid to even talk to her. Nebula and I... There's no fixing that. We're better off apart. She can get on with her life, and I can get on with mine. What if you gave her just... one more chance? I mean, you've got the rest of your life to stay away from her if that's what you want. A little more time couldn't hurt. Well, it might hurt. It, it might actually hurt a lot, but... It could be worth it, too. Might as well give it a shot. Just... maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. How about now? Not that I can tell. There's still... something blocking me. Um... Hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey. It's me. <laughs> Peter Quill. But, uh, yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really... How's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks, I guess. Oh, man. You were awesome. And you only had one arm! Well, yeah. Nice to know someone appreciates my skills. Gamora never could. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. Gamora says she still cares about you. She sure has a funny way of showing it. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? She saved your life from that Kree... General... Dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. Is everything all right? 
What's going on? I can't stand this place anymore. I can't stand him anymore. Nebula! Come here! Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. I don't think I won on my own. Gamora, let me win. Because she is a coward. She could not face true defeat. Don't let her weakness diminish your strength. There is something you must know about Gamora. She has informed me that she does not want you around anymore. That she works better alone. Every day, she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I'll keep an eye on her from now on. Good. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Where she fails, you thrive. Father, I need Gamora. She's my teacher and my sister. You underestimate yourself, Nebula. This mission will prove that. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! You distracted him. I killed him. We did this together. But Father- Thanos can complain about who did what all he wants. I don't care. Nebula. anymore. And neither do I. If you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Fine. Here. going to be okay.
see. It wasn't over. Ah, oh, man! Uh, we were just getting to the part where she, um... You know, what? The part where she kills you? I tried to show him what really happened with Tarval, but you interrupted us. I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what was going on. But you naturally assumed the worst. What do you expect after everything that's happened? Hey! She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own gut. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin Gamora, I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Thanos said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only he'd make you suffer. It's true, Gamora. I saved your Admit life! Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me. By killing If me. I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know? I even checked your pulse, just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part. The most important part. But I did. That doesn't make any sense. The only thing I know is I feel real sorry for the both of you. Man. Talk about family drama. Well, clearly, this was pointless. <sighs> I don't know what to believe. Or what to do. I'm just trying to keep us together. You're my family. Oh, so you finally agree with me about something. What a surprise! I'm just as surprised as you. I figured you'd disagree with me just because that's what you do- Guys! Guys! S stop! You both want the same thing! He's... actually right. It happens. Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> more than sometimes. Thank you. Maybe we could... give each other a chance? All right. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Okay. Let's go. isn't my favorite assassin sisters. <laughs> well, that'd be a pretty rad band name. Hey, Peter. Give me one second. I'll meet you in my room. Sure. Quill. Thank you for talking to Nebula. It means a lot to have her here. It gives me hope. Uh, what are you... What? Oh, is that a dagger? Is it... What, you got a throwing star? There? Whatever, you got something pokey on your hip. I do not usually hug. You're a good friend, Peter. Uh, hey, Pete. Uh, I threw some mean words your way back there, and I, uh... I just... I wanted to apologize, you know? So, yeah. Sorry about that. I just, uh, I got worked up, you know? Hey, don't even worry about it, man. Best friends forever? Yeah, at least until death. It's close enough. Also, such sadness. <gasps> you are a very nostalgic person. <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, what's the matter? What? 
<laughs> Why are you crying? Why am I crying? Oh that God. little box brings you so much sorrow. Oh God. I'm sorry for that. Sometimes emotions overwhelm me and reflect back onto others. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. Everyone on this ship is so poisoned by their feelings, overly focused on the past. Not living here, in the now. Experiencing all the wonderful things around you. Like, I think it's better to focus on the future. You know, anything can be possible tomorrow. That is a hopeful sentiment. And very naive. But sometimes you need that. Thank you for letting me listen to your music. It made me feel better and worse at the same time. I loved it. Hey, Mantis. Can you direct me to that magic shrine thing now? Of course. But it is a long way and I must concentrate completely. There can be no There can be no distraction. Oh, you have made an awe-inspiring mess. Distractions. I'll see what I can do. The entrance to the shrine.
This is it. Yay! Another temple! <sighs> the Kree were not only skilled warriors. You can find great symbolism in much of their architecture. Yeah, yeah, they like pretty things. We get it. Now what, Pete? Mantis? Any pointers? It appears that the forge goes there. On the altar. Seriously? Well, that was anticlimactic. find anything that looks off. Hmm, I am Groot. Of course something's wrong, because we're in a frickin' Creed temple, where everything is always more complicated than it needs to be. I mean, ain't they ever heard of an on switch? I need some help with the lens thingy. Okay, okay. I am Groot. Yeah, good job, buddy. That forge is gonna be resurrected in no time. He says you might destroy it. That he hopes you do. Is that really what he said? One more to go. Something tells me it's not gonna be easy. I used to stand here, holding up that giant whatever it is thingy. And things go bad. Age sets in. Oh no, I dropped it! Ah! So where did it go? There it goes!
How's it going, Gamora? In a few minutes, we're gonna have to decide the fate of the Eternity Forge. Not we. You. For whatever reason, this is all in your hands. Look, I know you haven't really sided with me or taken any of my advice lately, but... The Forge is dangerous. You have to make sure no one can use it. Ever. to seal the fate of the Eternity Forge. Yes. Your decision will leave you despised by much of the team. Good pep talk. Thanks, Drax. No matter what you choose. Yep, you can stop now. led me here, but has grown quiet. How do you know I'll make the right choice about the Forge? I do not know that. Oh. You are the wielder of the Eternity Forge. It chose you. You must trust there's a reason. Yeah, okay. No pressure at all. So, what now? Repair the statues. Determine the fate of the universe. Oh, is that all? So, uh... Glad you stayed with Gamora? Yes. I think staying close to my sister is what's best for both of us. I hope so. Because otherwise I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the blame. Hey! <laughs> it is a hologram. You are so stupid. Shut up! I knew that. What now, Celestial One? Oh, come on! Stupid jet boots overheated. Drax, I need your muscles. You cannot have them. They are attached to me. No, I know they... Uh, I need your help. I've got to lift something very heavy. Ah, I see. You are weak. I will help you. I am ready. Crushed to death ain't on my list of to-dos, Pete. I'm sure if you just reach really hard, you, you could get it. Maybe dislocating your shoulder or something? I cannot fail. You're the only one who can fit. Ah, so it's a little guy thing. Of course. Can't be that I'm the quickest or the Rocket. smartest. Okay, okay. When I get smushed, I better be first in line for some resurrection. Here. Uh, 
Thanks. Interesting. Stop. But there is still no statue upon which to set it. I would have gotten the lens, guys. I was just, you know, working up to it. Yep. We just gotta, you know, work together. Oh, you mean like a team? What a novel idea. Yes, teamwork often brings good feelings. Hmm. Perhaps we are doing it wrong, then. Okay, listen up. I need everyone over here. Nope, not gonna happen. Just a little higher. My arms can't go any Your higher. My muscles are soft. Shut, Shut up. up. Guys, stop talking. Like a baby's bottom. Shut up. No! That's my face! A very fat baby. Sorry. Hey, what do I know about whatever you are, anatomy? Idiots. Maybe your people enjoy having their faces stepped on. Dynamite to all of them. Now it is truly time to decide. Turn the forge to the left to destroy it forever. Turn the forge to the right to empower it and bring it to its full potential. His right or your right? Oh. Hmm. I don't know. What? what? Let me see. Wow. I can't believe that almost happened. Turn it this way to destroy it. Turn it this... Yeah, we got it. Turn it to the right, Pete. It's left, Peter. You want your left. Peter, you must turn it left. No! It's right to empower you, idiot. Oh, yes. Go right, Peter. I am Groot! Destroying the Forge is the only way we can keep it from hurting people. Don't listen to her. Think of your mom. Think of Lila. I am Groot. Shut up already! He's gonna use it! I promise you my undying loyalty if you bring my family back to me. Don't you see, Peter? Everyone wants this power, and no one should have it. I'm sorry. This thing is way too powerful for anyone to wield. You gotta destroy it. Thank you, Peter. You don't know anything about me, lady. Perhaps she has never lost a loved one. She has only killed the loved ones of others. Drax! You don't talk like that to my sister. I will talk to Gamora in whatever manner I please, robot. I am Groot. Oh yeah? And what would you know about it? You're a freaking piece of wood! The process has begun. You can release it. I am Groot. You can't even communicate on your own. Think I like translating for you every single I time? I am Groot! Right, now you're gonna start. Drax, back me up. You are all horrible people. No offense, Drax, but wisdom isn't your strong suit either. Guys, we got company! Thank you, Peter Quill. I never could have found this shrine without you. And the tracking device genes are placed on your ship. You know, I didn't think you could get more annoying than that time you killed me. <laughs> you really suck. Their usefulness has expired. Dispose of them. I hate that thing. Oh, 
Oh, I've had about enough of this. God, boots are more busted than I thought. Sorry to have made you sad. We should do this more often. Looks like the boys could use some help. This won't be easy. Hope not.
It's done. The Eternity Forge... is no more. Hope you're happy, Quill. You did what needed to be done. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. So now Mantis is tagging along, but she's only creating more questions than answers. About the Eternity Forge, about Hala, about... everything. Janitors of the galaxy, that's what we should be called. And Hala and the Kree, well, they're just the latest cosmic spill. As much as he's wrong about almost everything he does, Peter was justified in his actions with the Forge. She agreed with me? I mean, <laughs> of course she did. Can I get a copy of her saying that? It's what happened next that he should regret. <laughs> <laughs> 